I talk to a lot of people who want to purchase a piece of land and maybe build something on it or redevelop a property in a town or, or somewhere. And the thing to keep in mind is, although this is the live free or die state, you can't just do anything you want. Hi, this is Greg Powers with Keller Williams Metropolitan, and this is Real Estate Smarts in Under Three Minutes. The state grants authority to the various towns and municipalities to exercise control over uh, the properties in that town. And they do that through zoning ordinances and regulations. <coughs> so a town will divide itself into different zoning districts and then apply rules and regulations about what can be built there, how it can be built, and what uses that property can be put to. Looks kind of like a Petri dish. Now, some of the typical zoning districts you'll see around the state will be, of course, residential, commercial, industrial, uh, rural, and sometimes agricultural. But because it's up to each town to uh, set up their districts, you may find variations or subdivisions of those. For example, Manchester has three different residential zones, R1, R2, and R3. And you can't build an apartment complex in the R1 district, which only allows single-family homes that would have to be in R3. Now, once you know what zone a particular property is in, then you can check the zoning ordinance, and it will tell you what you can do with that property and, in essence, how you can do it. Uh, for example, uh, for a single-family house, the zoning regulation may tell you it has to be a minimum of 650 square feet. Sorry, no tiny homes. Another example, let's say you want to convert an old house uh, in town into a nail salon. Well, it may have to be in the R3 or commercial zone, and you may discover that for every 500 square feet of building space, you'll need two parking spaces. So if you're interested in doing something on a piece of property, the first thing you want to do is find out what zone it's in. Then your next step is really to reach out to the town planning uh, or building department. Um, and just explain what you're interested in, what you'd like to do, and they will be very helpful in, uh, you know, showing you the regulations, discussing it with you, and maybe giving you some ideas of what they will allow or won't allow. Now, just because the zoning ordinance says you can't do something, doesn't mean you can't do it. The ordinance can't account for every situation on every property, and that's why the town has a zoning board. Um, to, to make exceptions to that. The exception is called a variance. And if you do want to do something that the zoning ordinance does not allow, you would have to apply for a variance. Now, depending on what you're trying to do, that can be pretty complicated, expensive, and time consuming. So I won't go into details on that uh, here, but just be aware that no doesn't always mean no as far as the zoning ordinance is concerned. So again, just to recap, uh, if you want to do something on a property, Check the zoning ordinance first, talk to your town planning or building department, and then see what the options are. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you like this video, if you found it useful, uh, feel free to leave a comment below, um, like it, and if you know anyone who would benefit from the information, feel free to share it. Thank you so much.